This is WBCQ, bringing world's last chance radio to you from Monticello, Maine, USA. Violent crime, political unrest, financial instability. Everything points to an impending crisis, a crisis like no other. Tune in to World's Last Chance Radio to learn how you can spiritually prepare for what lies ahead. WLC Radio, preparing a people for the Saviour's imminent return. Greetings, welcome to today's programme on WLC Radio. I'm your host, Miles Roby, and with me is the ever-smart Dave Wright. <laughs> well, that makes me sound a bit like a long-life battery or something, ever-smart. <laughs> Do you mind? <laughs> I was thinking more more of a software app, you know? Uh, have a question about the Bible. Type into Dave Wright, the ever-smart. Oh, very good, yes, yes. Well, whatever. Moving on. <laughs> well, if you're joining us for the first time, you'll quickly discover that at World's Last Chance, we prefer to use the personal name of the father, which is Yahuwah, or Yah. Uh, his son's name is very similar, Yahushua, which means Yahuwah saves. And at some point or other, you'll probably also hear El, Eloha, or Elohim. Now, these are titles that refer to Yahuwah. As you know, Dave, I've travelled a fair bit, and I've tried to keep up the foreign language that I've had to study in school to the very best of my means, but I'm no means entirely fluent in it. Now, this is some rather... Let's call them interesting miscommunication over the years. Oh, okay. Would you care to share a few examples? Well, as a matter of fact, I do care, to be honest, because it was quite <laughs> embarrassing enough the first time around, so I'm not really going to broadcast it on shortwave. <laughs> oh, well, <laughs> fair enough. I'll take your point. Well, miscommunication just happens sometimes, doesn't it? It's all part of life in general. And in the 1990s, when large companies were expanding into overseas markets, they discovered that the slogans, even the product names themselves, Dave, they'd used in their home country, didn't always translate very well. So, for example, okay, you know the caffeinated soft drink Coca-Cola? Mm. It's gone around the world. Uh, when it was first introduced into China, the name was rendered as 